We are now exactly one week away from the special election to fill the vacant District 4 seat on the San Diego County Board of Supervisors. All right, four candidates are running for the position vacated by Nathan Fletcher. The winner will serve out the remainder of his term, which ends in 2027. And one of those candidates is Janessa Goldbeck, who joins us now live on set. Janessa, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's just start with why you are running for this position and what you think uh, differentiates you from the other three candidates. Well, I grew up in San Diego County. This is my hometown and it really matters to me what happens here. When I look around at the homelessness crisis and the skyrocketing cost of living, I want to do something about it. And I've spent 15 years as a policy advocate working to pass a federal legislation, state legislation, make a change that really matters in people's life. I want to put that experience to work here. And this is a unique situation because of the scandal and this um, seat being open. This is a, a community, really uh, hundreds of thousands of people that have been without representation since about March. So how do you try to restore sort of the faith and, and the trust there and address that as you move forward? Yeah, District 4 deserves representation at the county that they can trust. And there's been a real breach of trust with this situation. I've been speaking to as many voters as I possibly can over the last few months to try to get a sense of what's on people's minds. The number one thing I hear is they want to see the county do more to solve the homelessness crisis, and they want a break. You know, there's been such skyrocketing costs, whether that's rents or the cost of electricity, and people really want to see that their government is working for them to make things a little bit easier. Yeah, so, you know, obviously homelessness is a huge issue here in San Diego, across California, across the country. What kind of uh, concrete ideas do you have to, to do something specifically about that? Well, my number one focus is making sure that the county doesn't just follow the city of San Diego or other cities around the region, but it actually leads. And we've seen um, over the last few weeks the city of San Diego opening more emergency overnight shelters. Uh, we still have a lot of people who don't actually get the services they need. A lot of people like seniors. Seniors are our fastest growing demographic in the homeless community. And a lot of times the shelters or the safe camping lots don't meet their needs. So I want to make sure the county is leading on opening emergency overnight shelters for seniors and making sure that we're taking preventative measures so that people who are on a fixed income don't wind up on the street in the first place. And so how does that parlay into your policy? policy on the housing crisis and the cost of living because it all goes hand in hand. Absolutely. Well, the county right now has a program, a pilot program that's serving around 200 seniors. Um, it basically makes up the difference if they're on a fixed income and rents go up. The county provides the difference of a couple hundred dollars to the landlord. And I'd like to see that program expanded and made permanent and also expanded to meet other populations like families with small kids who are really struggling to keep up with rising costs. So you have not held a uh, elected office before, correct? But you do have a master's in public leadership, right? Do. the University of San yeah. Francisco. Talk to us about you know, what you think you bring to the table. If somebody looks and says, well, you know, she hasn't served before publicly like this. What, what have you done? Why, why should people vote for you? Sure. Well, I'm not a career politician, uh, but I served for seven years in the Marine Corps as a captain and combat engineer officer, uh, leading Marines and sailors. And that's the best leadership experience you can possibly get. Um, but I'm proud to say that I'm also the CEO of a national nonprofit organization called Vet Voice Foundation that uh, represents over a million and a half vets and military families nationwide. And our job is to lift up their voices in policy fights that matter to them and make a difference in their lives. That's exactly what I want to do at the county for families across San Diego to make sure that they're heard, that their concerns are being addressed, and that we're actually moving the ball forward in a meaningful way. And to get a sense of how this race is going, not just for you, but um, there's not a lot of polling for people to look at, but you've racked up some endorsement. Uh, Congressman Scott Peters, you've also got Tony Atkins, a local here now up in the state Senate. Um, tell us about how you're feeling about the campaign and the momentum that you have. Yeah, I'm really proud to be endorsed by the majority of our federal delegation as well as the majority of our representatives up in Sacramento and elected leaders across the county. Um, but I'm also very proud of my endorsements from the public safety community, including our county firefighters and our deputy district attorneys. You know, there are a lot of folks in San Diego County who really want to make sure that this county is doing everything it can to thrive, to make it a safe and healthy place for families um, and everyone to live. And I'm excited to be represented and endorsed by those groups and individuals. As somebody who uh, served in the Marine Corps, talk to us about your efforts to help uh, veterans and, and how that will play into uh, what you'll do if you are on the County Board of Supervisors. I'm extraordinarily proud of the work that we've been able to do in Washington to protect and help veterans and their families. Uh, last year we were part of the effort to expand veterans mental health care benefits to over five million new veterans. I want to make sure that we are serving our veterans and military families here in San Diego County. Um, we have a lot of military families who are struggling with the rising costs. Uh, we've got military families using food banks and that's totally unacceptable. We need to make sure that people who are sacrificing and serving this country have everything they need to thrive, that their families are supported. I want to make sure the county does that. 
All right, Janessa Goldbeck, one of the candidates running for the District 4 seat. Thank you so much for your time today and stepping off the campaign trail to share your thoughts with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Janessa, thank you very much. We're also going to hear from candidates Paul McQuig and Monica Montgomery Stepp later on this week right here on Fox 5. And of course, you can always find tonight's full interview and uh, also one with Amy Reichert, who is also running by visiting our website at fox5sandiego.com.